Welcome to this short video on how to train and use a machine learning model in Power BI. Today I want to show you how you can train a model and I am using here a demo dataset based on some maintenance data for machines. So we have here in the first row a transaction ID which comes from a backend system. We have the type of machine, we have a temperature in degrees Celsius when the machine broke down, the humidity in percent when the machine broke down, the age of the machine, the site where the machine is located, the quantity that was produced using this machine, and finally we have this column here, the last one, that tells us how many days this machine was in use until it has to be fixed. And what I want to do with my model is to predict this column here. So based on this data, I want to predict how long a machine will be operable before it breaks down. So the first thing what I have to do is to upload this document here to Power BI. So I'm switching to my Power BI workspace and from my Power BI workspace I'm using a data flow. I'm going to close this document. And I want to create a new table. I'm using an Excel document. In real life you may use a data lake or whatever, but I'm using here this Excel and I'm going to upload my Excel document. I'm going to upload this training data here that has some megabytes. It takes a few seconds. I click on Next. And this will open the Power Query Editor for me. So we here in the Power Query Editor and I have this table here that I have showed you the maintenance table with uh, these columns transaction type, temperature, humidity, age site, quantity and mean time to failure. And I'm going to load this into Power BI. So this will be called uh, maintenance and I click on save and close and now the data will be loaded. I'm going to call my flow uh, ML for machine learning MTTF, mean time to failure and save. And refresh the flow. So nothing special until here and when the refresh is done, now I can click on this brain button here and this will offer me to create a new machine learning model and the table I'm using is the only table I have at the moment, that's the maintenance and I want to predict the mean time to failure. Click on next. Now I can choose a type of model. In this case, you can only use a regression model, but Power BI supports different types of model. For example, a classification if you want to create a classification model. But I'm going here with a regression model and click Next. I don't want to use a transaction ID because this is just a unique ID for each row and I'm suggested to use the type, humidity, age and the quantity and you can choose to also use for example the site where the machine is located if you think this is a good idea. Click on next and now we have to give it a name. I call it, let's say, MLMTTF model and it asks me how long I want to train it. It will not take 120 minutes because this is a very small data set with only a few rows. And you should also be aware that you don't want to train your model too hard against the training data, but you want to train your model to identify patterns. So I'm clicking here on save and train. 
and what happens is that Power BI is splitting our data into two parts. We have a training data and we have a validation data. The training data is used to train the model and the validation data is used to validate how good the prediction is. Now this will take a few moments or minutes depending on your model to train this data. I'm going to pause this video and start when the training is finished. We are back, the model has finished training. So let's have a look. And as you can see, we have this maintenance table here, the training and the testing data. And let's switch to machine learning models. As you can see, we have this model here. And we can also view it as a training report. And this will tell us how good this model is based on the data that was separated for validation. So this takes a few seconds to generate the report about the model performance. What we will see is a percentage, uh, how good the variations in model can be explained based on the data we provided. And some info about the residual errors and top predictors. And here it is. It says that 82% of the variation can be explained. And when we look at the top predictors, it's quantity, the type of the machine, and then the age. But most important is how much the machine has been used, which will explain the mean time to failure. So now that we have this machine learning model, it would be nice to apply this model to some data. And I have prepared some data for our prediction here. So I have a transaction ID, I have a type, a temperature, humidity, I have uh, the age of the machine, the size and the quantity, and what I would like to see is the mean time to failure that the machine model thinks it will take to uh, break the machine, and I want to combine these two. So back to Power BI. What I now want to do is to switch to tables and to upload my data that I want to apply. So I'm going to add table. And again, because it's an Excel file, I will upload this Excel file here. And this is my data. Click Next. And this will lead me back to the Power Query Editor. So let's check the data and open the Power Query Editor. Now what we see here is uh, all the data in the flow. We have some machine learning models, we have some maintenance data, and what might happen to you if you try to save and close this, you might get an error. So I would recommend to check these queries here first because you have to uh, add some connections and apply some connection information. So we click here next. Switch to the next one. Configure the connection to AI functions using my organization account. As you may have noticed, I'm using here a premium per user test version. So you have to you have a premium capacity in order to use this machine learning technology in Power BI. So this may take a few seconds or some seconds more. And when this is done, we can save and close the Power Query Editor. 
Now we click on save and close. And now we have an additional table here in our flow, which is called prediction. And now I want to apply my machine model to this prediction in order to predict the mean time to failure. So I'm switching back to machine learning model and apply. And here I can select the table. I'm using this prediction table. It is important that you have the same column names and the same type like in the machine learning model. This has to match in order to make this work. And I will call this prediction output. Save and close. And again, this will take a few seconds now for Power BI to make this prediction for our data based on the trained machine learning model. So let's give it a few seconds to finish. Back from the coffee break. So let's have a look at our model. And now we have this prediction here and we have an output that is called enriched, which contains the prediction that we wanted and an explanation. And what I'm going to do now is to use Power BI to have a look at this enriched model, which contains the prediction. So I'm connecting to my data flows and in my workspace I have this prediction enriched model and I'm going to load it into Power Query Editor and let's have a look here. We have this output from the regression result and the only thing I want to do is to switch from text to make it a number and load it into my report. Here it comes. And now I'm going to make a table to view the prediction that the machine learning model has made for us. So let's use a table and I have my transaction ID here and I don't want to aggregate it, but I want the machine type, the age, the site, the quantity, and here I have these three uh, columns uh, or fields, whatever you call it, that come from the machine, model, machine learning model. And I'm interested in the regression result. And as you can see, this is uh, the prediction, how long the machine will be operable before it will break down. As you can see, we have this one machine, which is five year old and has produced uh, 67,000 goods and it will last approximately nine days until it needs a repair. And we have this other machine here, which is one year old and has produced 18,000 goods and the machine learning model says it will uh, at least 278 days until it needs a repair so you can use this information here down here for predictive maintenance and for example scheduler maintenance for these machines here and uh, maintain it before it will break down. So I hope you like this video and see how easy it is to create a machine learning model in Power BI. However, if you want to create a machine learning model in another technology like HML, you are of course uh, free to do this and integrate HML machine learning models as well in Power BI. Thanks for watching.